in the far green reaches of the Pacific Northwest. Another nice day. John Anderson leads the way to a beachcomber's paradise. Look at this. So you'll see colors, you'll see shapes. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it is. John has been combing the beaches of the Pacific Northwest for almost 50 years. And in all that time, he's never gone home empty handed. Whew. But exactly how much he's packed out over the years is impossible to appreciate until you visit his home in Forks, Washington and realize John has taken beachcombing to the extreme. So this is the buoy yard. There are towers of buoys, boat graveyards, inviting people to stop by for a peek at his museum every summer. And what's inside is a kaleidoscope of our complicated relationship with the sea. Didn't realize that everything had a story or a person behind it or somebody used it or lost it or threw it away. A collection that started with finding elusive Japanese glass buoys that date back as far as a century. And that sparked a lifetime of searching. And then came the years after the catastrophic tsunami in Japan when debris from a distant disaster would wash up here on Washington's shores. This is the Japanese 2011 tsunami corner. In 2013, John traveled to Japan to return what he could to owners documented in Lost and Found. People were just couldn't believe that we would bring it back. But some of his favorite finds are messages in bottles. Wow. Delivered to him over and over by the ocean. There's a lot of history and there's a story in everything. One of the things that I never gave up from childhood was adventure. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Forks, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.